The suspense is over. The time is here. On the seventh day, he said, let there be food. We're back here at the Brockton High School Fine Arts Cafe with uh, Melissa McLaughlin. Just talk about uh, what are, what's going on here, what are we going to be looking at right now? We're making a um, Greek spinach filo, so Adilson's going to saute off some spinach. He's going to add some red onion and some garlic, add some cherry tomatoes and feta cheese, and then we're going to put them in these little spinach filo cups. We have a restaurant within the high school. We're open two days a week, mostly to faculty, but it's a whole training program and they learn all aspects of the restaurant business. It's all juniors and seniors that are in the program and it's a two-year program so all they have to do is go see their guidance counselor and they're welcome to come in and join us and the students learn all kinds of skills and they love to demonstrate them how they put everything together all the different flavors this is something that we kind of just created in class. We do everything we do every cuisine from Italian to Chinese we do a lot of vegetarian options we offer um, soups and salads and sandwiches and we do uh, weekly specials. We run a hot special, that one vegetarian and usually one a meat option or a fish option. And we do a dessert special every week too. And we are here with McWig, um, Daniel Rosen with McWig. Just talk about what are we looking at right now, the type of food that you guys offer. We're an Irish pub in Whitman Center. Um, today we have shepherd's pie, pretty good Irish meal. Um, but we we cater to a lot of, we're like a sports bar. We have um, shepherd's pie, bangers and mash, beef stew, fish and chips, and then a lot of just a regular American pub food. But you know, we have a big mahogany bar, a lot of TVs, a good place to come watch a game, go out to dinner with friends. Yep, and we're located at Whitman Center. A lot of people have come up and said that they've already come to the pub and tried it out, and a lot of people saying they're looking forward to coming and trying it out. So it's great to come out to an event like this and just meet people. I'm here with Brittany Stevenson of the Southeastern Culinary Arts Program. First and foremost, this, two, this food right here is to die for. I mean, outstanding food, but for the viewers, talk about what are we looking at right here. Right here you have a chocolate mousse, typical chocolate spoon to two cup, just like this. Over here you have a chocolate Mozambique, which is made with your typical chicken, your Mozambique sauce, garlic, rice, jasmine rice. I got involved with this program my freshman year. I'm a senior this year. I love to cook, I love to be in the kitchen, the whole speed, fast scene. It's just my, just my thing, I love to try new things. And we also have a new chef this year. Her name is Chef Capone. With her, we do meals from everywhere, places from Italy, New Zealand. We do different things, so it's not just one type of thing. You get to learn a whole bunch, going to Southeastern. largest representation of restaurants that we have uh, ever, over 55, and uh, you know, 800 people here uh, tonight, uh, good crowd, and a lot of happy restaurant owners saying these are people I've never seen before that uh, we hope to see at our restaurant in the weeks and months to come. This is a fabulous event. The mayor's stomach is full, even though I still have this piece of pineapple, but it's a great event. It's a great opportunity to folks to find out all about what restaurants and things are in the area and uh, just a great night to enjoy themselves. We're here at the Gourmet Cafe, and uh, can you just talk about the different stuff we're seeing here today? We actually see some great food. What is it? Well, uh, our food is basically from the Mediterranean region of Europe. Um, Athena, the owner, is from Greece, and so we have Athena's stuffed grape leaves, a baklava, um, a 
turkey and provolone roll up very light and a feta penne fennel um, uh, pasta salad, all very light and healthy. We believe that um, the Mediterranean people live there, they eat so healthy, they live so long. It's all about good food, good oils and freshness and that's what Gourmet Cafe is all about. What's your favorite part of your job? Um, basically serving, meeting people, serving food and making a lot of fresh and exciting new flavors come together, seeing people happy once they're done eating and, and getting a big, thank you, I'm so full, you know, that's the best part. And we are here at Taste of Metro South 2011. I'm Nubirato, joined with Alex Perez, owner of Burrito Wraps. This has got to be an incredible event, just all these restaurants coming it together is. as one. It is. I mean, it's, it's a great event. It is a, a great opportunity, not only for myself, but a lot of the great restaurants here. I believe there's about 55 of them. Uh, it's a bit, you know, an opportunity to showcase, you know, what we do and, and, and how we do, how well we do it. You know, obviously everybody has their own taste, their own speciality of how they want. Ours is Mexican food. Uh, today we're going to give samples of our chimichangas, our chicken chimichangas. Uh, we prepare them with a little bit of rice, a little bit of cheese, uh, and then we have all different kinds of styles. We also have you know, the fajitas, so when you come to our restaurant at 688 Crescent Street here in Brockton, you can have your chimichanga either way. Here will be our, 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 our chips that we, know, that we will have here, as well as our chimichangas. And as you can see, our chimichangas are lightly, are lightly fried. Uh, it has uh, chicken, cheese, rice inside of it, and then we're going to top it off with a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, salsa right there. So most of our uh, guests today will be able to enjoy a little sample. We make all this at the you know at at the premises from scratch. We don't you know everything is fresh. Everything is bought locally. We believe in supporting uh, local businesses here in Brockton. Uh, they support us. We support them. So. That's a great product uh, from this area. I'm here with Kathy of Montilio's Bakery. Kathy, we have a plethora of just outstanding desserts over here. I mean, just great. What are we looking at, though? We're looking at a carrot cake with cream cheese filling. We're looking at a lemon orange marble cake with lemon buttercream filling. Chocolate with chocolate truffle fudge filling. Uh, the bakery's a signature flavor here is our cannoli cake. It has ricotta and chocolate chip mousse filling. Inside presidential white cake with a little coffee syrup on that. We also have marble with mocha truffle fudge filling with us. We have our mini pastries here with us today, too. We've been in business since 1947. We've been in the city of Brockton since November of 98, and everything's going really well. We're on the north side of Brockton. We're in the commuter rail station um, on the north side. Yeah.